Hey guys, welcome back to the X-Ring. On today's episode, what I'd like to do is review a new tripod. Uh, this is by a company called Really Right Stuff, okay? Odd name, but they make some of the best shooting equipment out there, at least in my opinion anyway. Uh, this is the Really Right Stuff tripod with a SOAR Anvil 30 head. So I'll let you check that out. Guys, this is kind of like the gold standard in precision rifle or some of these matches. Uh, this thing weighs in pretty light, weighs in at four and three quarters pounds, so it's not that heavy. It's very robust, structural carbon fiber here, big rubber knurled knobs, so very easy to deploy just like that, and extremely stable to shoot off of. We used this in my last match that we did out in Douglas, Wyoming, for you guys that followed. But what makes this really nice is this small top, okay? So this small top has a lot of adjustment on it. Uh, it's very lightweight, but what it allows you to do is it allows you to use the top portion for an Arca Swiss rail. So like on the Accuracy International, it has an Arca Swiss rail on the bottom of it. We were able to clamp straight to it. You just flip this lever and you'll see that it opens and releases just like that. Now on the bottom of my AR, because I, had to, I was the carbine guy for that match, so I had to shoot a carbine. If my partner was shooting the Arca Swiss rail, he could just detach from it, and I could immediately, with my Picatinny on the bottom of my handguard, on my AR, I could just put my rifle up here, lock it in, and I was ready to shoot from it. Now, as far as adjustability, this thing is really, really nice. Right now, I'm sitting down, and this is a perfect position for sitting, okay? But if you needed to make this really flat, what you can do is you'll see that it's got these spring-activated little uh, locks right here. You can press that, and in an extreme, you could do this and make the unit extremely flat, okay? I don't know of an application where I would have it this flat, but that would accommodate a prone shooting position. And as you move it back, you're going to notice that it's going to click right back into position just like this. Now, this is a little lower than what we had it before. Maybe something like a modified prone or something like that would work better. But like I said, I had it in this position here, which was really good for kneeling. Now, there was a couple other things that we were able to do with this. Uh, I've done a review before of the hog saddle. Now, what I did was I bought this. This is from Really Right Stuff as well, this attached plate right here. Uh, this is called a VR76, and this is technically an Arca Swiss. So if I wanted to put this onto this, which is what we used, and you say, well, why'd you use that if you had all the rails? Well, we had a set of binoculars that were range finding and we basically put one of the eyepieces here and then clamp down on this with the hog saddle and then once we clamp down on it we we're able to range find the targets immediately come off of this and stick the rifle with carbine on here whatever we needed so very very versatile um, they are not cheap they're very expensive uh, this whole setup you're looking at about fifteen hundred dollars uh, when you take this and you extend it you're looking at about five foot two inches for shooting position which is a lot higher than i'll ever need i'm right at five foot eleven so you know I always you always want to put it somewhere around sternum height whenever you're shooting off of a tripod um, the way they had that match set up they had high grass they also had some rocks um, and in a couple instances we were shooting this in the almost the uh, completely upright position or the fully extended position that match was really not doable without a tripod like this. Now, a lot of teams carry two tripods, uh, and you might say, well, why would you need two, one for each gun? Well, no, what they did was, is they would put the rifle, the shooter here, and they would put the other tripod back here as a rear stabilizing brace. One of the things I've learned from shooting from a tripod is you can't really load your bipod. You're almost wanting to free recoil it. Um, but with this lever here, what we would do is once you put the rifle on, then this lever, you just release it about halfway, and then now it's nice and smooth. It tracks well. Once you get it close, then you lock it down, you're locked in. You'll notice this hip socket type joint right here. Very, very versatile, very cool to use. Check them out, really right stuff. Look under their sword division. They do a lot of camera and photography equipment, but the sword division is going to be for your precision rifle setups. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. All right, so just doing some practicing off the tripod here. We're going 630. 630, 3.5 mils. Hold about a tenth left. Smooth. Impact. That's how you do it. 